some of the successes of working collaboratively are many minds joined together and you've got a lot of um, ideas that you can bring in. So sometimes you don't think of everything and you've got a lot of people that you can draw upon for ideas. If you don't have a strength in an area, you've got another teacher that you can go to and get help. Um, you can be observed and get different ideas and help improve your own practice. So that might be where you're doing one teach, one observe. Cindy, can you come and observe me for my maths? I'm just struggling, I can't get this child to get it. What am I doing wrong? And then she can come in and help and then you've got feedback straight away. Also is supporting each other. I think that's been a huge thing for us. Often you have those tricky conversations with parents or kids. You've got someone else there who's got your back, has been there in that moment, who can support what you've said or what's happened. So it's like another, another person there. I think it's good for the children as well because they don't always match with each teacher. They're not always going to gel. If I think back to my, my teaching, there wasn't every teacher I gelled with, but if you're in a space where you can go to different teachers for different things, there might be someone there that really gets you, gets your learning and hooks you in where you can go. So I think that's a massive success for teaching collaboratively. Planning wise as well, share the workload. Um, sometimes in the beginning it can be a lot more, but if you keep working at it, you got you can think smarter with more people. You can release each other for different times, and you've got a lot more time to do testing, whereas other teachers might be taking big book or poem, release them and get that done. You can teach collaboratively without using the different without using different spaces. Um, I guess it's just about trialing the ones that you're in and working from there. Um, I get, also I think it's important as well. You might think something's working, but another teacher might have a different perspective on a space, so it's kind of getting their input and opinion into it.